Hey y'all, in today's video from the 2024 Pigeon Forge Rod Run in the 2024 Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen, we have the 1940 Ford built by Nichols Paint and Fab. Let me get the camera turned around we'll check it out real quick. Justin? Scotty, how are you, brother? I'm wonderful. What a one! It's always awesome to yeah. see you all. Same, you know? same. And we're in Tennessee. I'm telling you, I always love having you come down to my backyard, and you guys, not just you and Megan, but you bring the staff, and there's nobody there that's not cool that I don't like seeing too. You yeah, know? we all hang out, have a good time. That's what it's about. And now you've added to it. You brought some really nice, sweet, cool clients down here with you. Absolutely, Tom and Sherry are super cool and super happy to be a part of all this, and. Uh, we're building them a bunch of cars, and this is pretty much the first one that's been done, and they're having the time of their life. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a 40 Ford Coupe. We didn't go too crazy with this one, but it's sitting on chassis. Got the bigger wheels on it, bigger brakes. I usually don't put chrome on stuff, but this one deserved it. Advanced plating did a good job on it. We did some uh, work with the glass. Brian, Glass Guy Chicago, did it all, and of course it looks good. Uh, Stitch Girl did an awesome job on the interior. I don't want to sound like a NASCAR racer, right. but I mean, you got to give props where it's due. But. Oh, no, no doubt about it. I want to be a positive influence on the industry, and that's how we help it get out there is to what do the pros use, you know, who's the who's the good guys. Exactly, so, who do you call? Right. Yep, yeah, that'll actually get it done and not mess up. Did you do any kind of custom fabrication to it? Yeah, so the whole bottom is, we've got belly pans on the bottom, the exhaust is ran through, we put the exhaust in between the body and the belly pan, so there's a bunch of DEI uh, or heat proof stuff, so it's like a modern car. We did some a lot of stuff under the hood, new panels under the hood, around the radiator. We did the, the custom running boards. Uh, we fitted those to the doors because there's always a huge, ugly gap. Uh, we did some custom door handles, cut out a hole in the trim, and took and dig it handles and cut them down, milled them down, and then Dan machined out um, a cover that bolts to that handle, it matches the trim, so you can't even really tell where the door handle is. Oh man, how cool is that? Taking yeah. somebody else's product and put your own spin on it, making it work for what you need. Make it just for. a little bit cooler. Right on. <laughs> what color is it? That's red. Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> a medium red. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's like every other build, it's a custom mix. I don't have a name for it. We just wanted that deep candy look, but we didn't want a candy because right. if you got to touch it up, you're... Right. SOL. Right. So, but now it's just a base coat and clear coat. Man, no, it turned out beautiful. I love the color of <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. And I like the accent color you used too. What's that? Oh, that's honestly sent that chassis in that color and we had to respray it a little bit darker, but that's kind of what I don't know what color it is either. Oh, Brown. Right. Just whatever it came in, right? <laughs> yeah, just happened yeah. to work for what yeah. you were doing. What's up under the hood? Uh, so it's, it's literally just a old crate motor 350 from GM Performance Tom had laying in his garage and uh, we put the fuel injection made it look old with the fin valve covers and uh, the spark plug wires are vintage looking I mean it's a mix between vintage and new right. so and it it's just a fun car to drive this thing wasn't in terrible shape when they brought it to you was it no so this thing was done in the late 80s early 90s and it was a show car it's been featured in magazines that had some pearl flames on it and you know the 15 inch billet wheels uh, the billet stuff on the dash, we obviously yanked that stuff out, which I kind of think is cool, but that's not where right. we're at right now. Right, right, right. But uh, we, we got rid of all that and made all new custom stuff, custom decoded digital gauges, and it's really cool. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, no, I got you. And, and yeah, you know, you bring up the billet. As a builder, you, you do have to kind of play to what's going on. But it's not embarrassing to say there's a lot of things in the in the past I wish would come back because they were cool then they'll be cool now yep, you know yep but yeah in the public eye when your videos and all the social media going on you know at the end of the day you don't want somebody to look and go well oh, that looks like it's from the 70s right. you know <laughs> and it is but that makes it cool sure, you know sure if anybody wants to keep up with you what's the best way to do that uh, just put Nichols Paint and Fab in any search bar and we're gonna be there awesome thank you brother thank you. So there you go, from the 2024 Pigeon Forge Rod Run, the 2024 Scotty D TV Dirty Dozen, Nichols Paint and Fab, a very cool 1940 Ford. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.